month's episode of Scott Wants to Brag About Games He Played. That's your intro? That's bullshit. No, that's my intro. In all seriousness, uh, the community voted on this pick. We didn't tell you what it was because I'm an amateur and I forgot. It was, like, I would say a good 20% sway for you 20%. to play Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. I had Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, and I do believe it was Final Fantasy 2. Yes. Uh, the North American I Final Fantasy 2. do, Fantasy. yes. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get, get into that. Yeah. I finally, finally finished it. I started it off, and then I had to take a break. Like yeah. Two week break. I know. Not because I wanted to. It's because I had to do stuff around the house yeah. and that freaking honey do list there. No, honey helped too. <sighs> honey helped build a deck. I was out there after you were done. I was like, you go take your bath. I was because I was crippled. Because you were crippled from deconstructing the deck. And I did the rest of the deck. I used the framing nailer, which was fucking awesome. I like want one for my birthday, but I already got a birthday <laughs> gift. I did miss two nails, so. That'll haunt you forever. It's gonna haunt me forever. All right. He says all right, like he's not the one that brought up the reason he couldn't play Chrono Trigger. I was just correcting him. I helped too. But we can move on now. We can move on to talking about the game. So we're talking about Chrono Trigger. This is the first time I've played Chrono Trigger. It is 2022. It's on my list to play this year. Ooh. Yeah. And how are you going to play it? I think I prefer to play it on the SNES, but because it's such a long game and I know there's extras in the DS, I kind of yep. am like leaning DS just to have that varied gameplay where you played it this way and I'll play it that other yeah. way and we can yeah, compare. Yeah, yeah. Every time I have my little review, basically is me drinking and talking about the game I just played. We have seven categories. Jen mm -hmm. names them off. I rant a little bit and she edits out all the shit. Yeah, because <laughs> he'll get into another topic and I'm like, mm, I'm not there yet. So, but we're going to try to stay on course. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. So the first thing we always talk about because it is the epicenter of every game is the story. Ooh. <gasps> Unpack the story, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> No! Doggy! Because it's a it's a time travel thing. I love anything time travel. You do. Uh, because it can get very complicated. But this game wasn't complicated right up until... I got up to the point where I lost Chrono. Then I took a two-week <laughs> break. And then when I came back, I was, really I was lost. lost. I had no idea what I was doing. I was getting my ass kicked every freaking where I went. I Because I, I was completely lost where I had to go. And then I, I just started going to all the different timelines, which there are six plus the end of time one, so I think there's seven total. The world gets hit by, let's call it like an asteroid, but it's, it's Lavos, and it happens way in the past, goes deep into the ground, he ends up feeding off the Earth's energy until it gets to that certain point in time where he's strong enough and he just basically kills everything. Okay. Yeah, Lavos okay. is the last boss at the end. Um, I know nothing about this game. I you, didn't even know the guy's name was Chrono. So. <laughs> you end up getting, I think it's, I want to say it's seven people in your party, if you get Magnus. I Magus, I Magus, I think. I think yeah. it's Magus. Anyway, and yes, I did. I did get him because that was before the Chrono thing. Okay. Uh, and I didn't. I got him without doing a walkthrough. I just got lucky, I guess. They made my choice, and then... Before I left that scene, I was like, because nothing happened, I was like, should I look, did I choose wrong? What's going on here? So I looked it up real quick and I was like, okay, yeah, I did choose right. Oh, good. And I ended up getting him. Happy so, accident. Yeah. It was pretty useful to me throughout the rest of the game because okay. he's pretty strong, right? So I don't want to ruin the story. I don't it's want to. It's pretty hard to ruin the story because I didn't think it was complicated up until I finished it this morning. And then I started thinking about all the little things because of all the different time lines that you're dealing with and then my brain had a meltdown there <laughs> and I still can't figure everything out. It's too early. I should have talked about this a week from now, but it was so good. And then if you talk about it for from a week from now, you'll forget about everything else. Well, that's the problem, right? <laughs> so this is going to seem like a weird cut to add right here, but after we finished doing the review, Scott thought 
damn, there was a lot of things he wished he would have mentioned. So, because this is about time travel, we're going to time travel into the future, which is now the past, and get Scott's thoughts on other parts of the story that he really appreciated and enjoyed. And then we'll time travel back. I'm very confused. Let's just watch the clip. So there's two things I want to talk about that I didn't mention in the wall well, with the camera on. First of all is uh, Luca and her mother. And I, when I went back in time with Luca to uh, try and change what happened to her, her mother, uh, spoiler alert, if you don't want to see this, but turn it off. But Luca's mother gets mangled in a machine and then she becomes paralyzed. And so anytime you ever see or interact with her, she's always sitting in a chair. And when I went back in time to save her with Luca, I knew what I had to do. I knew the password I had to type in. But when I clicked on it, I expected to see the modern keyboard style. And, you know, I would click on the letters. But no, it the the password you have to use the buttons like your L button, your A oh, button shit. Your, to spell the word out. So I I clicked on it and I was like and I clicked again and I fucked it up. She went right into the machine and then at the end of the game when everybody's happy and everything and she's she's still sitting there and she's telling her, you know, how, how how happy she is and everything. And I just fucking gutted me. <laughs> yeah, because like, she could have been happier. Me. Yeah, yeah. It just bodged, bothered me. And the other thing that I wanted to uh, mention is, because uh, I didn't say it in the video, is at the end, uh, my ending, I, th I think I got the good ending because I didn't go and look at all the endings. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, you basically go back to where the time machine is, whatever first started. And you have to say goodbye to every member in your party because they're all from different timelines. Oh, God. Well, not all of them. So you were saying goodbye to them all. And it's kind of fucking, it's kind of sad there. And it kind of like, oh, it kind of bothered me. <laughs> get, get the feels from it. How many games do that, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's... that's Yeah, I got connected there. Like, I played 36 hours of the game there. And I got connected to all these characters. Yep. You know, it's weird. But it yeah, is. I, I just, I didn't get the chance to say that sitting down at the table, but... You know, I want to say it now. So, Cliff Notes version of the story? Your time yes. traveling through time to basically... Stop uh, Lavos. Stop the world from ending because Lavos is... Is a dickhead. Oh, okay. Not and I train at the earth and he's <laughs> sucking it dry. Okay, so difficulty. Difficulty wasn't hard. Um, so I should be able to play with yeah, oh, Well, yeah, because I... This is only my, my third turn-based RPG, is it? Final Fantasy VII... Uh, Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia. And this one. And this one. Okay. Yeah. I'm not good, really good at the strategy part of it yet, I'm, I, but I'm getting better. I'm feeling oh, yeah. more comfortable there. But Absolutely. I always, before I get into a game, I go and I look up, as I usually look up the, uh, what you need to know before starting this game. That's a and it's smart usually, idea. you don't get any spoilers, it just kind of guides you into the right direction and don't forget about this, don't forget about mm -hmm. that, don't forget about that. And okay, and it doesn't spoil any of the game for you. And I did that with Skies of Arcade, and I had great experience, and I did that with this one. Great experience. Yes. If you're a first-time player to a turn-based RPG, is this... It's very user-friendly. Okay, friendly. Very okay. User -friendly. that's good to know. Yeah. Difficulty's not hard at all. Where did actually, you end up level-wise? Oh, well, right at the end, right before levels, I was actually at 52 because okay. of all the little side quests. Yes. I did. So I didn't actually grind... You just went all. to find stuff that you would be beneficial to have? I did the side quest. Okay. I just did the story and I did the side quest and I was at the appropriate level for when I finished the game. Yeah. And I had the right equipment and that makes a big difference. See, so story, difficulty, gameplay is next. Oh, I like the gameplay. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. The gameplay, it's the attacks. It's um, because the gameplay when you're walking through the world, walking on the map. Yeah you can see the enemies sometimes oh, you can cool. sometimes you can walk around them if you don't want to fight them yeah um but when you uh you interact or you bump into whatever a turn-based rpg usually cuts to like fades to a different yeah, screen yeah. Yeah. this doesn't it's really? like, it's like stays you're right it stays right, right there and you're yeah oh now this kind of blew me away because of all the different attacks I think, because I looked up, uh, I somebody did a review, and I was yeah. like, holy fuck, there's that many? Because I didn't get that many. 
Anyway, the attacks, I think per person there's eight regular attacks with your magic and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And they call them tech. Then you can, every person has a certain amount of double attacks, mm -hmm. which means two people combine for a tag team move. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, so out of your seven characters, there's X amount of different of combinations, doubles. right? Yeah. And then there are triple team attacks. And did you do many of the triple team attacks? Oh, at the end I was doing the twister a lot there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's like big attack, lots of damage there. Yeah. Like 3,000 something hit damage there. Shit, that's awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. I guess there was 116 attacks animated. And feel Magic like you attacks had, and like, stuff. Oh, I it? didn't even come close. Yeah. Uh, no, I I felt like maybe I had half. I don't know. I yeah. didn't count, obviously, but I started the game playing with uh, Chrono, and I kept calling her Marl. It's M A R L E. Meryl, Meryl. Meryl, Meryl. <laughs> and then the third character is whoever else I had. Do you to know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Marley though. At the same okay. time, just a mess with us. At the end of the game. It was, um, I called her Ayla, but I think somebody on a review called her Isla. And I, like, I had, I had Ayla, Robo, and Chrono in the last battle. Robo's easy. Yeah, Robo's easy. <laughs> I spell it and everything. Four letters. I'm good at four letter words. He was my healer. I had him all juiced up and magic. He was healing it like crazy, and the other two were doing the big attacks, right? Yeah. But I would put Magus in there if Chrono was hurt. Injured, yeah. Yeah, because there was this. Getting to Lavos was a little bit tough there, and I have had a few of my characters right down to like Nothing. one health, like Jesus. almost dead. Yeah. Graphics is next, and oh. I was blown away. And when you switch TVs, even more. Oh my so. god! I I started off with my I think it's a 37 inch Sanyo. Now, while we don't have side-by-side -side comparison of Chrono Trigger, because we moved our Sanyo into our retro room and trying to hook that up now to get it would be damn near impossible. So what I'm going to do is show you guys some footage of us playing on the Sanyo. And then I'm also going to show you comparison of what the new TV looks like. And then I got the Toshiba. It's fucking beautiful. Oh my god, it was so vibrant. Oh. And I was like, holy shit, that looks good on that TV. Now, now after I finished the game, I looked at a couple of reviews before I sat down here, just so I kind of felt like I had half an idea what I was going to say here. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people say that that game is the best looking 16-bit oh, game. I can understand why. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too. Now I start to see modern day RPGs kind of trying to emulate what that I can did. understand why. Yeah. It, like, I would look over every now and again as he was playing just to kind of see what was going on. And I was always blown away with the graphics. Like it was just, an, it was really well done. Oh, awesome. So, so beautiful. Yep. I, I don't know what more to say about that other than if you haven't played it, for it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, for the era. Like you will know. It's a 10 out of 10 for that era. Like Absolutely. Super Nintendo, it might be the best looking Super Nintendo game I've seen, but I haven't played that many. Yes, that's true. So. Music and sound. Mm. Oh, oh, so good. So good. It's stuck in my head. It's so good. <laughs> I think I remember you saying that. You're like, this would get stuck in your head because oh, you were playing something. So good. It's not, it's not, it's it's simple, but it's so good. I don't know, maybe I'm biased at this point. You, you <laughs> but if they were do, I wish I wish I had the soundtrack, and not on CD, I want a vinyl. Actually, if they were make a vinyl, I'd be like, take my fucking money! Do they not have a vinyl? Didn't somebody not mention to us to get a Chrono Trigger vinyl? You hadn't played it yet! So what did I know? I, I'm a computer yeah, I know. Oopsies, I was wrong. It was the Skies of Arcadia vinyl on Fan Gamer. And it is still in restock, so that's one he wants too. This is getting expensive. All the sounds are good. There's no voices. There's no voice no. acting. No, or it's else you'd know how to pe text. say people's names. Well, exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah, everything's good. Like all your attack animations, everything. You're all. There's mm -hmm. nothing that was like, ooh, that's bad. You know, but no. everything was good. And the music was. It was like, all very cohesive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, very. I mean, that's a, as much as you can say about it. It's awesome. <laughs> so, value and replayability. 
The value. Woo wee. Um, you know what? I would say you How, either... What is this on price charting? It's it's between three and four hundred dollars. Is it not? It's gotten Whoops. a lot more since we bought it. Um, I don't think we paid nearly that much for no, it. No, 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 no. Would I pay three hundred bucks right now? Uh, I would, but I'm a collector. Yeah. I would I, just recommend getting the DS version, which is I think still under a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, which does have a lot of extras yeah. to the game. Or what we want to do eventually is get a network drive for our SNES because there's still a lot of big games we want to play that mm. we don't have in our collection that we may never have in our collection. Well, we may never see them. Here. We yeah. may never see them. So yeah. Value-wise, because I, I, it's a really good game, you, you get your value from either it's a really rare game or it's really good. And it's, rare. <laughs> like, and you know, it's like, got tons of replayability there because is tons. of so many different endings. There are, yes. I, I think I done fucked up because I played all the way through and I was down here this morning and I had to go get groceries mm -hmm. and I got right to the end titles, well, the end of your credits and it's a, I think it says the end and then it plays that kind of a music box. There's some fireworks going off. No, no. It's there got was that. Some was there? Yeah, at right at the end. I just remember the letter, you know, saying it's the end and then I hear the, the music box. Mm -hmm. It's it, like really pretty music there. And then I wait it and I wait it and I wait it and I wait it to go back to the title screen. Yeah. And I never got anything. And I was like, well, okay, that's gotta be, I hit all the buttons on my controllers. I'm like, okay, well, that must be the end of it. So you then I, I turned off. the machine off. And then I went and looked at reviews and guys were saying, well, you got New Game Plus, New Game Plus. I'm like, what do you mean new? Is that just for the DS version or is this on this version? Yeah, I couldn't I really get a, a definitive answer online. Yeah. But from what people were saying, once you get to that end game title, you're supposed to hit the reset button and then it comes up well, New Game Plus. Well, who the fuck knew that? Well, I didn't fucking do that. That sucks. <laughs> so, but, like I said, you saved it before the yeah, last Yeah, so I just have to go fight Lavos again. Yeah. He was deal. so easy the first time. Uh, he wasn't bad. No. From I, what you said. No, he wasn't difficult and at all. And you'll probably be able to do um, it even easier this time around. This, yeah, yeah, I have a strategy now. Uh, you'll guess, probably go do it to have that new well, game plus on the... Uh, I would you know, I don't know if I'm interested in seeing all the different endings. Because I feel like I got a really good ending. Yeah, that's you know what true. I, mean? I wonder what New Game Plus would give me. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm not fixing gonna do to it. screw up my uh, husband's gonna, day uh, in three. Sit on it, sit on it for two, like a year or something there. One. Yeah. Yeah. You may sit on it so long that the battery may no longer hold that save. And that. Wait, I didn't say No, I would never say that. Fuck off. What am I talking about? Rewind! Fast forward! I don't know! I have a Retron 5. Let's see, it seems like the only fucking useful thing for that is to put it in and transfer my save over. That's true. Okay, so <laughs> you're all right. I, I take it back. What is your overall opinion? And I'm going to ask you a tough question. I had two questions for Scott. I'm On my to-do to list for today. today. So I did Wake up. Them. And devise and ways to I don't think answering fuck it your life. <sighs> but divorce is expensive. And I'll take, take half the games. Is it in your top ten? <clears throat> Definitely. Definitely. Is it better than Skies of Arcadia? <laughs> which is already in his top ten. I think it was number two. Was it number two? It might have been. I can't remember. Don't fucking ask me to do another <laughs> top ten video here for a couple of years, guys. Like, Don't don't tag me this year, would you, please? At least let me get some stuff under my belt there. At least maybe it'll be different, but... I don't want to make that choice because Skies of Arcadia was my very first turn-based RPG yeah. and, and it's kind of special to me and I really enjoyed it. And then, but I fucking, I really love this. But I, I this is, I'm literally just finished this like, what, 10 hours ago or something? Yeah. I haven't had time to let it fucking really settle in. Yeah, it hasn't had I time, really, yeah. really like it. I don't know where to, I don't know where to put it in there. <laughs> hey, don't ask me, I'm not doing it. I love this game so much that I, I know I can't afford a complete copy of it. Yeah. But I, I want to go and buy a repro uh, box and for it and like just to put it up on the shelf and display yeah. it with the rest and of them there. And that's fine for us. Yep. I know some people would be like, ew, gross. We're never going to sell it. Complete copy of this goes goes for over a thousand bucks, doesn't it? It just doesn't make sense. No. There's uh, some so, things we can justify. Yeah. And then there's other things that we're like, nope, mm -mm, not so, even yeah, a little So yeah, I would love to have a vinyl. I would love to have the box art of it up on the shelf so I can look at it. Yeah. And maybe I can have some other art. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jen's got some work to do. Dad doesn't note. paint for me. I want to paint.
hate for you, but I need to have time. Oh, the you're... reviews I do take about a hundred hours. I also have to play the games too. So. I was so worried about sitting down and talking about this game because I knew I wasn't going to do it justice by talking about it. But I will end the video like this. For a game that is about time travel, this game is timeless. Be willing to bet in 25 years from now, people will still pick this up and be like, that's, that's a damn good game. Good game. I think some yeah. games are absolutely timeless. Yeah. And that's one of them. So. All right, guys. Uh, I think your review d does translate because it's the enthusiasm that people feed off of. They really yeah. like to see you love a game. I think that's what the community wants. They want to yeah. know that we love something and we're playing our game. I want to tell more of the story, but I, I there's, it's, it's there's a, it's lot. a lot. There's a lot when you're dealing with I think six world maps and all these and seven characters, and you can't get through all that. No. You all can't. I can tell you guys is if you like turn-based RPGs, go for it. If you like a time travel mm -hmm. aspect of it, you like those time travel movies and games and stuff like that, and you know, it makes you think, go for it. And if you can't afford to get it this way, emulate, emulate it. it. Who DS, the hell cares? emulate it. It's worth playing. Exactly. 100%. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on. I can chug it this time. Whoa, look, guys. I'm a champ. No husbands were harmed during the filming of this video. Except for maybe his feelings. But that doesn't count. I'll buy him a game. Or two if I have to. Or I'll do that thing he's been asking me to do forever. I, you know the thing. Wives, if you're watching, you know the thing. Ugh. I don't want to have to take out the garbage, but I'll do if I have to. If I have to.